Bryson has been back in the headlines this week after an 18 year old man took that chemical and swallowed it. Dr. Slim Sarani joins us now with why it's so dangerous and deadly. Um, we talk about the castor beans. Every time you come up here, there's a bug. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's a sign. Hey, you know, they know that I can uh, treat the bugs and the bugs related illnesses. And, and they're, they're mad at you for that. Um, uh -huh. Castor beans, this is something that's extracted. We don't want to explain to people exactly how to do that. We know that information is on the web, but this is something that you don't hear about a lot. And this is something terrorists use. They've mailed this to the White House. This is a deadly chemical uh, compound. That is very true. Actually, you know, this, uh, this castor bean has a lot of advantages. One of the thing is when you take the uh, you know, extract, it, it can act as a, it inhibits the protein, so it cannot produce the protein which is responsible for sustaining your organis organs. So this has been used uh, in some of the cancer treatment medication too. So it has an advantage. But what happened is that, you know, when you make the oil, but when you take the castor bean, either you can chew it or swallow it, then it create, uh, it leads to a compound called resin and it blocks your protein. So there can be several ways you can do that. You can extract either that you can chew it and you can actually create a powder which can be inhaled or you can put the oil. So I think it has been used in the terrorists and uh, it was actually uh, tried in US in 1940s and then they said that it was used even in Iraq at some point. So the challenge really is that which mechanism you uh, use it. So if you are using it as an inhalation, that's kind of a terrorist. So anyone around you, and they can be exposed to that, mm -hmm. that it can be very deadly. And it only takes a small amount of this stuff to do a damage. That is very true. So it takes a very small. So if somebody tries to kill themselves, they swallow it and they chew it, they can have a nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, bloody diarrhea, and sometimes that can lead to the kidney failure and sometimes multiple organ fail and they can die. We don't know the condition or how much this 18 year old took, um, but just kind of guesstimating, is this something, I mean, he's gonna be in the hospital for a while receiving treatment? It, it all depends on what amount of the uh, things is taken and how much it is absorbed. There's no antidote, so you cannot actually, just like you had got bit by a rattlesnake, you give the antivenom. Anti There's no antidote, so it's all supportive care. So if you get bioterrorism attack and you have an inhalation, what you do is you get out, you take a fresh air, dilute the uh, challenge. So you have to treat the symptoms and symptoms. Not the, the cause. And if you have a like a kind on your clothes and you come in contact, make sure that you remove the clothes, you decontaminate yourself. If it goes on your eye, wash your eye for 15 minutes. So it's all symptomatic treatment. And if you inhale or ingest, and if you're having vomiting and diarrhea, you need to give the patient fluid, IV fluid, and just a supportive care. And if you know that you've ingested very quickly, we can give activated charcoal and have them uh, try to vomit well, and get yes. those things out. Dr. Sarani, we appreciate your insight as always, sir, always on the, the front lines here in the South Texas and medical concerns and issues. Thank you. Likewise. Okay, Alan. We're